pounding. Hey, barbecue family. Hey, guys. Hey, barbecue family on Insta. Hey, hey. barbecue yeah. family on YouTube. Oh, my goodness. It's so nice to see you guys. Everyone's probably watching being like, where the heck are those girls? They, they're in a completely new background. Okay, that was a lot of pressure on me because, once again, I'm never the one who gets live on Instagram. <laughs> you so did good, honey. I did it. You did real, real good. Hey, guys. Oh, we've got the set aside boys. Hey, boys. We have S. Will. And we have, every, we have our barbecue family on YouTube just flood in the chat already. How is everybody doing? It's so nice to see you guys. Oh, my goodness. It's been so long. I feel like we haven't been doing this for, like, a year. I honestly. know. It's been, I think, exactly a month. And my goodness, it feels like, it does feel like a year. I, I missed you guys so, so much. We've got Girl Dad Barbecue, Smoke and Sass. It Sauce Official saying, what's up? What's up, guys? And we have to acknowledge over on YouTube, our first on the grill, which was officially Tom's Food Factory. <laughs> but we had to give an honorable mention to our barbecue brother, Scoggin, because I don't know what the heck is happening with, with YouTube, but it tends to delete comments before we go live. I know. So you know what? They were both trying to be honest to figure out who was the first one in. So we're going to give it to both of them. Yes. And they were being, CJ. Hey, CJ. They were being so sweet to each other. First, they were talking about pushing each other. And then they were like, you know what? Scoggin was like, I'm going to be a gentleman. I'm going to say, yes, Tom's Food Factory deserves it. That's Scoggin for you, though. Leave it to Scoggin to be as sweet as he is. Yes. And guys, okay, I just, I just can't get over the fact that we haven't been going live for, for the past month. It has been a month. And we have been welcomed back, back with, with open arms from everybody. Look at everybody tuning in right now. We appreciate you guys so much. Hey, Bobby. I don't know. Did you say hi to Bobby? Did I, I miss it? Evil Llama. We got Evil Llama cooking with CJ, Bobby. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us today. We have hey, Rob, Rob over on Insta. Our Canadian friend in Sweden. Rob, how's the weather over there? I'd and like to Backyard know. Barbecue Paradise is saying, you guys are rocking. Okay, so guys, if you are over on YouTube, make sure you give a big hello to Barbecue Mama. Barbecue Mama's in the house. Barbecue Mama. And if you're over on Instagram and you want to see the different camera angles we have over here, because we have quite a few of them. You have some special ones. Head over to YouTube and you can see those all. And you can say hi to Barbecue Mama while you're there. We got Rick S. tuning in. He's saying, happy Friday, ladies. Great to see you back again. We have Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. And he's saying, hey to Tom. <laughs> And, of course, Evil Mama saying hi, Barbecue Mama. <laughs> okay, you guys came for a fantastic episode today. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the fact that I'm sitting down like a slob in the kitchen. <laughs> You're not sitting down like a slob. Well, who sits in the kitchen? I, I have to be on a stool because my legs are really hurting, my hands are really hurting. But I feel so good to be back with you guys. Guys, like, we were saying today, we are like, should we do it, Key? Should, should we go live? And she was like, you know what? I want to do it today. I don't care if I have to be sitting propped up on this little stool here, but here she's making it happen for the barbecue family. <laughs> Fritz Frank! Fritz Frank and Anders. Guys, okay, he's saying the weather in Sweden is snowy and dark. Ooh, Anders, spooky, yeah. it is, it's not snowy here, but it has been snowy over the last little while here, and there's just piles and piles of snow out there. Oh, I'm my goodness. over it. I, we don't I'm have, already over it. We have nowhere else to put it. I know. I could barely get into Barbecue Mama's driveway this morning because it's piled <laughs> so high. It was like going through a tunnel. <laughs> Okay, so before we even get started, oh. you guys know what we have to do before we get started. I've been wanting to do this for so long. Who is ready for the for our Friday dance? Insta, are you ready? You two, are you guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay, we're, we're missing the camera over on YouTube. I think they can still hear us. Okay. And Facebook. We also, I forgot, we also oh, have Facebook over there. We're back. Okay, uh -oh. so are you guys ready for this? Let's okay. do it. Here we go. Friday, Friday, yes, it's Friday. I'm raising the roof because I'm so happy to see you guys today. Okay, raising the roof is definitely um, when Kiki is very, very happy. You'll I, notice she likes to raise the roof when she's happy. This is like all I can really do <laughs> right now. My shoulders don't hurt, so I can give it one of these. So, hey, guys. Okay, so, Kiki, as you're doing that, we have to tell people where are we right now. Okay, so we are not, we are no longer in my kitchen. We are actually in. Wait. 
Want to give? Let's get some guesses. Okay. Get oh, some guesses on the board. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some guesses. Where are we located, Fridge Man? Where do you think we're at? Fridge Man's tuning in. He's saying, "Hey, I want to guess from Fridge Man." We have Tiger McCool, aka the Pop Tart King. He's saying, "With her guns, I think he wants a little bit of gun action." Guys, I there, to be honest, I know CJ does. There have been no. I haven't been able to work out in so long because I haven't been feeling good. Let's see. There's no. No, guns. they still feel good. There's they no still guns. feel good. I had, they had to give him a little bit of a break. <laughs> Evil Llama is guessing Kiki's Kitchen. No. Good guess, Evil Llama. No, good, good guess, guess, but that's though. wrong. Grilling and chilling. Okay, how cool of a guess is that? He's saying restaurant. This could Ooh. be a restaurant kitchen. This totally does look like a restaurant kitchen. Kathy's tuning in. She's saying mama's. No. Also good question. Or good, good, um, good guess. Backyard Barbecue Paradise is saying new studio kitchen. No, but on that note, we are going to be at the grill studio hopefully this summer because we oh applied to Starlink. So let's hope that gets here. Okay, we have the right answer here, and it comes from our barbecue brother, S. Will. He's saying Barbecue Pops' is house. Yes, Otherwise S. known as the hood of Joe Pesci. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're not never gonna let that down. No, this is Barbecue Pops' house, guys. AKA, this is so cool because this is actually our house that we grew up in. Yeah. So I, I was thinking about that when we were setting up today. I was thinking, imagine if we could have told ourselves oh. at seven years old and we started to cook along these counters. If that we would be going live in 2022, I know doing a, like our live cooking show. I remember sitting on a on this stool behind this counter up here and watching Barbecue Mama and Barbecue Pops cook for so many different things. Take a look around, guys. If you can see this kitchen everywhere, Barbecue Pops actually built this kitchen from the ground up. <laughs> All the cupboards, all the tiles you see, Barbecue Pops did everything. Even though he did, but Kathy's even saying she's still not going to believe it unless she sees Barbecue Pops. He's Guys, 2022, shy. we're going to make it happen. Shy. We're going to make it happen in 2022. I claim this the year of Barbecue Pops. It's supposed to be the year of the tiger, I think. According to the, the Chinese year of Barbecue year? Pops. That has a good ring to it. Oh, we have Mikey Kozar. Hi, Mikey Kozar. Hey, Mikey. Mikey in the house. Mikey in the house. Okay, so guys, you guys are all here. We're so grateful that you're here, but we got to get cooking. Yes. Okay, so guys, today we are making, if anyone has gone to a sushi restaurant before, you might be familiar with what we are making today. This is a crowd pleaser. It this is. Dish. Whenever we, well, we haven't been out in quite a while because of the pandemic, but whenever we used to go to sushi with everybody, we'd have to get like a, a million rounds of these <laughs> because everybody loves them so much. And they cut them into teeny tiny little bites yes. too. So like, that's why we'd be like, you know what? You know how you can check off an all-you-can-eat sushi how many you want? We'd be like, can you please put 12 on there, okay? <laughs> and they'd be 12, like, is this a mistake? 12 rounds, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're making enoki bison. So traditionally, enoki is made with beef, so you'll know enoki beef when you go to, su to have sushi. But we've got enoki mushrooms. We're putting our new spin on this. We are using Noble Premium Bison to make this recipe, and that automatically is going to make it that much better. Totally. And I just have to say Why there's something those? because enoki mushrooms, guys, I want to hear in the chat who has tried enoki mushrooms. They have like a unique scent to them. And I just find it Can so fresh. Them? Yeah. Ooh, earthy. Yes, they're, it's earthy. It smells so fresh. And you can't always find these in the grocery store, but when we do, we always buy at least two. So today we're, we got we have two here. And um, we're excited to get started. They really cook down to, like all mushrooms, they're they're made of a lot of water. So you do want to get more than one because you'd be so I could eat a pack of those myself, sauteed up. That's like two bites. Totally. Really? <laughs> totally. Okay, grilling and chilling with Mojo is saying, Maddie and Kiki, have an awesome day. Back to work he goes. Okay, and he's saying, you rock. Hey, okay, you rock grilling and chilling with Mojo. Thank you for taking time. Edit your work day, which we know a lot of people are working right now, which I think is so cool when you guys watch at work, for coming over and saying hi to us. I love that. Yeah. It's so nice to have everybody here with us today. Prince Frank, he's like saying have a great weekend to grilling and chilling with Mojo. Okay, so Maddie's going to be making the um, enoki bison. Yep. Which I have already marinated, by the way. And we are going to have... Okay, as usual, I credit. had to take credit. Yep, she's guys. taking credit for that already off the top. I can't credit. get... I right can't here. take credit for what's happening here. <laughs> so yeah, I already I already marinated the bison last night. So it's in some ginger, some tamari, lots of garlic. We've got beef stock, a little bit of spicy, a little bit of sweet with some agave nectar in there. 
And you want to make sure that you're marinating it overnight because we've tried this recipe both ways, but we want those flavors to get into the meat. So instead of just brushing it on, and we've done that both ways, it's not the same. It's not. You got to let that soak in, have it, have it really sit overnight to really take that full effect. And so what we're going to get started with, I'm going to be doing, um, taking apart the enoki mushrooms. And so we're, we just cut off the stump here. As will. What's as will say? As will said he's not trying to be creepy, but he's digging the nail polish. Okay, as will, you couldn't be creepy if you tried, no, you okay? Couldn't. And can I just, okay, so as will see my nail polish. Maddie did this for me because my hands hurt. So I'm going to take it. credit for that. And look, they have little avocados on them. Show, um, show YouTube so YouTube can see too. Look, check that out. I don't know if you guys can see that, but little teeny avocados. Show it up to the, maybe like your top cam because then you'll you be able to that? really see that. Look at how adorable. Because those things need to be seen, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Maddie, you did a great job. Okay, so... Okay, so I'm just basically going to start separating our enoki mushrooms here. And you can do these little bundles in as thick bundles or as thin bundles, bundles as you want. But, honey, don't you agree? Once these cook, they really, really shrink down. They do, yeah. So I'm going to, wait, how, how, how do you think about that? I would say even less. Less? I would say no, less. No, I still, no, no. I still want to know. Why did you ask there. me? I, don't, I take it back. Why? I take back asking you. That's what classic <laughs> Maddie. She asked my opinion, then she does what she wants anyway, guys. Okay, he has also, an older sister. <laughs> leave it to Fritz Frank. He's noticing the new cam. He's saying, ooh, pan cam on YouTube. Uh, ooh. Okay, I can't, I can't get over that thing. I'm trying to not pay attention to it, but I can't handle it. When okay. Barbecue Pops presented that to us, like, look at it, guys. Come on. <laughs> if you're on Insta, you're not going to get that. You're not getting what's happening. But I you... just want to, like, follow it. <laughs> Barbecue Pops has got a camera set up on an automated boom that's going across to get a lot of different shots. Pretty cool. It is cool. We have Pretty Twisted cool. Ribs Barbecue in the chat. <laughs> he's saying, afternoon, ladies. And we have Dwayne, and he's saying, buffalo bison is incredible is it Dwayne it? knows what's up Dwayne Isn't knows it? what's up Bobby's saying hi to Dwayne it's so awesome and we love it for this recipe in particular because the flavor together with the sesame oil and the ginger and the mushrooms it is undeniable yeah really it totally really is so while Maddie prepares that I'm gonna get started on the dipping sauce high five monkeys what's going high on five monkeys. smoking fire barbecue in the house five monkeys is being a sweetheart saying looking good ladies you know what i can't see five monkeys but i'm gonna guess that they're looking good too i can t i can second that that bet today so i'm gonna be making a dipping sauce for the um enoki bison and it all starts off we've got very similar flavors that went into the marinade but this is going to be um a it's going to be a dipping sauce so you're going to get all those fresh flavors once again so once those get cooked off it's basically like a double whammy of all those same flavors yeah and you can't you gotta have who here likes to dip i feel oh. like that's like who doesn't like to dip i'm a huge dipper oh we have barbecue pit dog tuning in so that's our friend rob rob i need to specifically ask rob do you have duke sitting with you because i'm gonna guess he does his dog his dog duke is a total cutie and um, I'm going to guess that he's sitting there. So oh. shout out to Duke. Hello, Duke. Happy Friday. <laughs> I'm sure he appreciates that. That was a good shout out. So we're going to start off with some mayo. And we're going to add it to, I like to use, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm making a sauce, I like to use a measuring cup. Not necessarily to measure anything, but just because I like the high sides. I like the handle. And then, uh, then we're going to plate it into a tiny, pretty bowl. But... How many times, I can't tell you guys how many times I've started making a sauce in the bowl I'm going to serve no, it in. No, I can't stand that. And then it gets all on the sides, it starts to spill everywhere. And, you're and like, why do you do that? To save dishes, because you're like, I don't want to make a mess. I don't want to make more of a, of a crazy mess than possible. But you end up just using two anyway. That's the problem. And yeah, it doesn't save time. tuning in. Hi, Pickles Barbecue. How, happy Friday. How are you today? Barbecue Mama saying Kiki's fave wild mushrooms are morels. Aww. She knows She knows her Kiki. She Barbecue knows her Mama. Kiki. It's, speaking of that, it's almost, can, can we just, we're talking about we're being in the thick of winter. Can we please just speed up until mushroom hunting season? Yes. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've had just about enough. And it's not even like halfway yep. through winter. Yep. We're big babies. We're, we're big, big babies. Okay, so guys, as Kiki is starting to add, I think that's agave, right, it is. Kiki? It's a guave, as I like to say. Okay. It's not called that, but we're going to add... Teaching people the, the, the um, incorrect pronunciation. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. 
But you could use any sweetener. I per, I'm on an agave kick right now. I don't really know why. I really like it. But you could use brown sugar, honey, maple syrup, anything goes in Daddy this kitchen. Daddy Dutch is tuning in. He's saying, who are these two chicks? Hi, I don't, Daddy Dutch. Guys, I hope you recognize us. We've been gone for a little while. I hope you recognize us here. Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry Barbecue. Okay, Tom so you guys, in the you guys know every single Friday we like to talk about what we're grateful for and we love when you guys share what you are grateful for because no matter what there's always something to be grateful for even when it's minus what is it out there minus 15 i think it's minus it is close to minus it's minus 15, 15 out there or something it's freezing cold we're in the thick of winter but we always have things to be grateful for yes so we want to hear in the chat below what are some things we have like a month of catching up on what everybody's grateful for so we want to see in the comments below what is everyone grateful for. Let us know. Dwayne is saying, my favorite wild mushrooms were the ones my dad and his brothers forged for on his farm in Alberta. Ooh. And the ones another uncle forged for. I would like to know what those are because I'm interested. You've, in, you've intrigued me. And Dwayne saying, very tasty when they were cooked up. What kind? Because I want to know if, in, if it's in Alberta, chances are we, we have them here. I definitely want to know. Okay, I'm going in with some sriracha. You got to have sriracha. Chris J. Howard's tuning in. I think he's saying he's grateful for beer. Double, that's always, double hands up on that. I agree with you, Chris J. Howard. That's always something to be grateful for. So I'm going to add it. Who's a spice fan in the house? I'm going to add in a lot of sriracha. Cooking with DJ are. saying, I'm grateful for Maddie and Kiki are back cooking on Friday again. Oh. Miss you guys. CJ. Cooking with CJ. I'm going to send you an air hug, a virtual air hug, and I'm going to send a virtual air hug to everybody watching right now because... Guys, we seriously, seriously missed you. I, Fridays were just not the same. Oh my goodness, can you smell that? Smell this. I'm talking to I'm you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I can't. Smell. When Fritz Frank <laughs> is being a total cutie, I can't handle it. That does smell incredible already. Already, already. but he, Fritz Frank is saying, come on, that's not a real question, is it? We are all grateful you two are back. Okay, Fritz Frank being an absolute cutie as usual. I leave it to Fritz Frank. He's always being a cutie. Okay, so Dwayne is saying they were bolites. <gasps> Ooh, we and have his aunt here. stuffed them with or made pierogi stuffed with beef and mushrooms. Yep, we have the bolites are a general term for a lot of different mushrooms. We have a, a wide variety of those here. Cool. Also, my favorite. Some of my favorites. Would those fall under those puffball ones? No. Oh, okay. You're wrong. Can I, I'm asking There's you. There's a I'm tiny cat behind you. Pollyanji. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm gonna keep going. Can I? Well, yeah, you're not you doing go. anything over there. Well, I'm just, I'm just basking in like the wonderful feelings of being with the barbecue family again. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna add to mine is some toasted sesame oil. Jay, Justin is in the house. Hi, Justin. <laughs> Hi, Justin. And I also just realized that I did not bring the tamari, which we need. Oh, no. So, okay, that's okay. Fantastic. You know what? We're going to rock and roll without it. We have Jen tuning in. She's saying, welcome back, ladies. We missed you. Jen, thank you for joining us. Jen, are you tuning in from at work, or are you off today? Hopefully, you're off today. You know, Jen Jen made something incredible with our rub. So a lot of people, for those of you she watching. She really, really did. Around, Chris, around our Christmas special, we gave away a few bottles of our barbecue rub. And Jen was one of the lucky people who won and showed us what she made with this rub. And it was like a venison, smoked venison jerky. I couldn't believe yep. how delicious it looked. Next level impressive. Thank goodness Jen saying she's off. That's awesome, Jen. And Bobby, are you off? Because I know that Bobby doesn't doesn't usually get to tune into our lives on Friday because she works. So Bobby, hopefully you're off too. <laughs> Hi, Farah. She's saying, hope you're feeling better. Thank you very much. How are you feeling today? What's going on? Dwayne is saying if you've had wild foraged food like mushrooms, hazelnuts, and wild berries. Ooh, hazelnuts. You have tasty treats. And yes, we do. We love foraging. That's like one of one of my personal favorite things to do. Burley is saying, yeah, long time no see. <laughs> Every time Burley writes anything, I feel like I can like hear him in my head out loud. That's so true. Burley, was that accurate? Was that <laughs> I how you were saying that? I personally am going to confirm that you nailed it. Okay, so Burley, you came to a fantastic show today. We are making enoki bison with a special dipping sauce, 
I can't wait to see this, honey. Yeah, this is gonna be real good stuff. I'm just trying to get to get organized here because I gotta get to work. I'm just paying attention to what's happening over with the barbecue family. But honey, <laughs> what what is what is something that you want to share with everybody that you're grateful okay. for? Other than the fact that we are super super grateful to be back with you guys. Oh, that's number one. Yeah, that that's, is number one. That was definitely my number one this week. So grateful to be back. So grateful to be able to talk to you guys, hang out. But for me personally, this this week in particular, I have been very grateful, and I don't know if you guys can relate to this. I've been very grateful for the number of people that are posting TikToks that have to do with their animals. Okay? <laughs> and, and I'll tell you why. When you're feeling <laughs> okay, down. Okay, that was extremely specific. <laughs> if you're feeling down, you're not feeling the greatest, you need a little pick-me-up, head on over to TikTok, and they have something for everybody over there. They really do. Pets falling off of furniture, dogs trying to get through the snow. It's like instant happiness. Totally. The animal ones really will make you feel good. So I've been watching a lot of those lately and feeling very grateful that they have those up. Me too. I, I'd have to second that. We have Brian tuning in. He's saying, sup, girl, to his own girl. <laughs> like he's coming on to her for the first time over there. Brian, Hi, Brian. Did Brian just get here? Where has he been here? I didn't see. I don't know. But Brian, nice to welcome see you, Brian. to the party. Okay, Guys, wait. look at these little bundles. I'm just <gasps> one in and hello cuteness. Oh my goodness. Hello cuteness. Show Instagram. They can't see. I'm trying. I'm just. I'm just loving this. This pan cam. Okay, you guys. Okay? Have to wait a second. Absolutely super cool. I'm just gonna Maddie's keep following it. With the following it over to Insta. Look, Insta. Can you guys see that? Check it out. Okay, so we're doing a bundle of enoki plus green onions. So when you go to get a sushi, they often have either or yeah you want to pick but we were like you know what we're not picking no we're going both cj is saying tiktok is a black hole that sucks <laughs> you in so you start watching at 6 p.m and all of a sudden it's 2 a.m okay i'm glad cooking with cj is saying that because that i true. feel like that i can agree with that, that i can definitely so, agree with that it's so true and the pet videos they really do it to me lately because they're just so cute it's like you can't be upset looking at those pet videos hi michael David is saying, I'm Hi, Michael. for what is between you, the air fryer. So Michael's noticing, or sorry, that wasn't Michael, that was someone else. Let me just, okay, it's gone. It's gone. Tell but me who I'm just said that. I'm grateful for that, too. Yes. I'm totally grateful for that, too. Okay, barbecue pit dog is saying, I love it when you say out. How do we say out here? <laughs> That's like such a, like, typical Canadian thing that people think that Canadians say weird. They think They think that we say it like oot. You kind of do say oot. No, so, so do you. And boot. Maddie says a lot of weird stuff, guys. Boot. She says a lot of real. Yeah. Like you a say boot? boot weird. Like okay. just the word boot. Okay, I don't even know <laughs> what you're saying anymore. Okay, I'm going to now add some rice vinegar. Okay, and Kathy hopped over to YouTube. She's saying she can see better here. Kathy, I'd have to agree with you. There's many more shots, but Insta's also Insta's its own little shot, too. Yes, totally, definitely, guys. So I've added in some rice vinegar, some seasoned rice vinegar. And for those of you who are wondering, if you are interested in making any sort of Asian cuisine at home, you're interested in look, sushi making at I'm home. I'm sorry. Those look incredible. And how easy is that? Absolutely incredible. Also, very fragrant on the marinade. Thank you. I will give you credit on She's that. She's giving me credit for once. Yeah. So if you're wondering if you what the difference is between seasoned rice vinegar and regular vinegar, Definitely go for the seasoned because otherwise you're gonna have to season it yourself So when you go for sushi and you're wondering why the sushi rice tastes so good It's because they're mm -hmm. using seasoned rice vinegar when it has Good uh, tip. It already has sugar in it and other different seasonings and it saves you some work there Agreed. Okay, Kathy. I think I think I saw barbecue mama giving props to Kathy on the homemade naan that she made the other day Ooh. Kathy made a homemade naan on her Blackstone Grill. How flavorful would that be? Ooh, that would be so okay, good. Okay, homemade naan. Okay, we had a question. Do you have a favorite type of pierogi? Mine would be sauerkraut and onion. You Ooh, know what? Oh my, okay. That's a very tough question. And that one. Was that Dwayne? Dwayne, good question. Okay, we're talking pierogies over on Instagram. Let us know what your favorite is. We're rolling Enoki Bison talking pierogies. I'm starving. I know, me too. <laughs> and you know what? It's weird because so many people I've seen keep talking about sauerkraut and onion pierogies, and I've never had that flavor. How, 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 is this like, why are people talking about it? I don't know. It? it keeps being brought up. I keep seeing people remind me that, that you can make specific sauerkraut 
and onion pierogies, and I'm like, that would automatically be vegan. Oh, I forgot I'm a green onion. I'm, Redo it. Unroll. Unroll. Redo it. Yep, you gotta have that in there. Hi, Salt and Pepper Fire. She's saying, hey, girls. Hi, Salt and Pepper Fire. Matt, she's saying, aloud, Maddie and Kiki, all caps. Okay, so I'm gonna go rooting and tooting in Barbecue Pops' fridge <laughs> and see what I can find because we. I, need... I don't think you wanna go tooting in there, honey. That, that ain't right. Okay, <laughs> I, need, I need. I think I can speak for Barbecue Pops when he's saying, please don't go tooting in the fridge. Right, I need it. I need tamari or soy, so hang on a hot second, everybody. Okay, Evil Llama now is saying, yes. you can chat now. Evil Llama, were you just driving like you always are at noon when it's Barbecue Family Friday? He's got it! Barbecue Pops is good Leave to it to Barbecue Pops. Ow. Barbecue Pops keeps a stocked pantry. Okay, so good, what do we got here? Good on for taking a little, a little look through. Now, Barbecue Pops has not opened this, so I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> and we're going to be the first ones to use this. Light Tamari. Barbecue Pops, I'm kind of disappointed in you. Why yeah, would you why get light? Barbecue Pops, no. <laughs> Brian is saying, I thought Maddie was the tutor. <laughs> People remember. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something I wish that people would not remember, but that's okay. Hey, we've got the Neil Brothers on. It is a happy day when hey, the Neil Brothers too. join. Hey, you guys. You know what? We were just talking about how our dad, Barbecue Pops, keeps a stocked pantry. I wouldn't be surprised if Barbecue Pops has some Neil Brother products in his pantry. You know what? I just had some Neil Brothers um, salsa. It was magnificent, if their, I do say so myself. Their salsa is phenomenal. It was just, I think I just got the standard organic mild. Oh, Ooh. it was fine as wine. <laughs> night, night. Where are you getting these sands from? I don't. I went a lot of Medicaid, my steroid, high dose of steroids today, guys. So who knows what's going to happen? Okay, Brian, Brian, do you want to be doing this? Brian is calling out Jen and saying, ask Jen about her tootin. Oh, no. I don't think, I don't think that's a conversation. I'm going to leave Jen out of this, okay? We're, we're going to have Jen's back on that. I will take the, I will take the lead on being the tooting girl, okay? We're not going to let Jen have that. Oh, those look so good. They look so good. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, I think, okay, because wait, we I... are cooking with the Ninja, I think I'm going to wash them, get this started, and get our first batch in okay. there because we know the Ninja takes like two seconds to cook food. Okay, hang and on. As that's cooking, I'm going to get this other this other batch going. Okay, okay. I'm going to wash up. Yep, I'm just going to show our Insta fam. Guys, check that out. Inoki Bison going in the Ninja. Maddie is going to put some barbecue rub on here too, even though we've got these marinating. Hi, Shannon. How are you? We're gonna throw some barbecue rub on top and we're gonna see which barbecue rub we're gonna use today. Honey, I'm curious which one you're gonna use. And let's let's shout it. Hopefully they're on right now because I love using someone's rub when they're when they're watching and they can talk more about it, where people can get it. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my light tamari that I've found in the fridge. <laughs> Okay, it's not your tamari. It's, it's mine. barbecue pops. <laughs> That's just because you open it doesn't mean that you get to keep it here. Uh oh. Okay, so we've added some. You know what? That's light. I'm probably gonna have to add more because I don't think that was enough. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Again, hidden barbecue pops on um, the light, the light tamari. Pickles barbecue's tuning in. He's saying, what was the marinade key? Okay, so we're gonna have, very good question, Pickles. We're gonna have the full marinade recipe with proportions and everything on our website, but generally it was beef stock. We've got the zest and juice of a lime, some sriracha, ginger, Chinese five spice. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Ooh, a lot I of Chinese. Say you can smell it. Yeah, so that marinade is absolute killer if anybody is interested. And I think, yeah, I think it's fantastic for, in this recipe in particular. <laughs> okay, Mom, Barbecue Mama is promoting violence in the chat, and she's suggesting to Jen that she smack Brian right upside the head <laughs> <laughs> for the toot comment. And I don't I'd have to agree with, I know, but I think that I think I agree with that. <laughs> okay, so Dwayne is saying bison is like next level beef. It that is, is Dwayne, good, good point. That's a good way to describe it. That's a really good way to describe it because bison it has more nutrients, it has less fat, it has more flavor, in my opinion, than beef does. And it's a real winner in a recipe like this. We okay, like really Jen is it. saying, he, ha ha, he was good enough, he as in Brian, was good enough to get up at the ungodly hour of 7 a.m. to take me to the dock. So she's saying that's okay, but Jen, are you okay? She had to go to the doctor too. This is like sick season. I know. I feel like this really is. We're in the winter. Everyone's getting cold. Everyone's getting the sniffles. Hopefully, you're feeling better, Jen. Jen, this is me sending out like my good vibes to you. 
<laughs> Bruce right? Frank is saying exactly. And all Barbecue Pops gets for his good video work is his pantry <laughs> rated. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to stop at the Tamari. <laughs> Did we forget anything else? What else does Barbecue Pops got going on back May I have a snack? <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some ginger to the dipping sauce as well, and I'm gonna see if I can. So we've got this box handy box grater. I love who has one of these. I love a I box grater. I don't, and I need to get one because I love that it has a wide base on it, and it's got the handle on the top. So you just push put your hand on the top, and you can grate away. Yes, I don't like it. yours. I have one of those ones that's like that, and then sometimes like you're like fighting it, and like it's yeah. just I feel like you can get cut more often, which I do. I definitely do. Yeah, I, I really like this one because it stays in place and you can, and all the, whatever you're grating stays on the inside. So if it's cheese or ginger, it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, Barbecue Pit Dog is coming at us with a phenomenal um, suggestion here. He's saying, break out the wine. You know what, what guys? In here? What? We have a good selection of wine here at Barbecue Pops's, but Barbecue Pops is actually a bourbon collector. Yes. So you know what? I'd rather go for the good stuff. <laughs> let's just let's just skip the wine and go right to the good stuff. Okay, so honey, you haven't shared any what are you you mentioned that you miss the barbecue family. I think we all have. It's safe okay, to say. we're ready to roll here. That that preheat takes two seconds. Okay, wait, salt pepper fire saying, does it get any better than Maddie and Kiki? The short answer is no. Why is everybody being super adorable today? Yeah, he's like, guys. I'm gonna fall. Please stop. <laughs> salt pepper fire, super sweet. Thank you for the kind words. That is actually very, very sweet of you to say. Sometimes I don't know how to take things like that. I know. <laughs> okay, you I'm going to mix this so up. Sweet. Honey, give me a great bowl. Well, All yeah. right. As, I, as I'm as i ready to add the food, I will give you guys a great bowl. Yeah. So, like I like we mentioned earlier, it is freezing cold. Oh, I think Skog is taking off. Okay. Duty calls. He has, sec he has security duty at the mall. Skog, thank you for joining us. It's not going to be the same without you, but at least he graced us with his presence for the first half hour. Thanks, Scoggin. Have a great shift. Be safe out there, Scoggin. I'd also like to see a picture of Scoggin in his new uniform, if yes. possible. Because I'm Anyone in uniform, send the pictures, okay? <laughs> okay, so what I'm grateful for as I start to load in the food here is... I'm like, going to get out of the way so you guys can see. Like we mentioned earlier, it is super, super cold here in, in our neck of the woods. So I'm actually very grateful for heated seats. I want to know in the oh. comments who else, who has heated seats, and you guys know what I'm talking about. You know what, guys? I'm so jealous of Maddie's heated seats, and whenever we get in her car, that's like my first thing that I do is hit on <laughs> my heated seat, because my old girl... Before yours even, you don't even care, you're just like, get mine on. <laughs> yeah, because my old truck, I've talked before about how much I love that truck, she's good, but she does not have the heated seats. That's one she of the She can't hear you, you know. You I, can say you I can say so. <laughs> but she I feel so bad that she doesn't have the heated seats. That is definitely one thing that when I get a new truck, that has to be and heated seats and an automatic start. Because in Canadian winters, I cannot tell you how much like how many times I've been in my house being like, Why don't I have that button? That button that you have, you can just hit it and you know that the car is going to be nice and toasty when you get in there. It, See, it PGH is. Smoke knows what we're talking about. Heated seats are a must. PGH Smoke, he is agreeing with us. I I really do feel like they're a must. And guys, I'm talking about I my past Jeep that I had. I'm going back in history. I had roll-up seats. I did not have automatic locks. So I'm now my new car has like everything and I can really, really appreciate it because my last one had absolutely nothing. <laughs> barbecue Pit Dog saying, love my trucks too. Where are all the truck people at? I'm not surprised Barbecue Pit Dog is a truck driver. And, and I'm David not surprised Young. PTK is a Jeep driver. He's in the Jeep family. Oh, don't even get me started on these Jeep people. Okay, I gotta wash off again. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not going to because I'm gonna keep going. Okay, good. I now, what temp are we at here? We're at 390, I'm pretty sure. And um, we're just going to see, I don't know how long these are going to take because this, this device here blows our mind every time. It's like, it, it, it cooks food super, super quick. Yeah, it really does. David Young is saying, and heated steering wheels. Yes, I can't imagine these luxuries that you Heck speak yes. of. yes. Guys, so I, this is me. <laughs> Constantly trying to drive and get warm at the same time. Fritz Frank is saying, Mrs. Fritz has automatic start in her vehicle. It's called Fritz Frank. <laughs> Frank 
can just enter a warm car. That's a good man. That is a very, very good man. I love that. Now, our friends, I missed the comment earlier, but I saw that our friends at Noble Premium Bison are watching. Hey, hey guys. guys. So if you guys do have any questions about Bison, where you can get it in your area, things like that, definitely head on over to their page. Give them a follow. They have a section that says where to buy. Yes. It's Because I don't know about you guys, but... Sometimes you're like, when you see things online, it's like, especially um, when it comes from a recommendation from the barbecue family, you want to be able to track it down. I feel like that's like the hardest part sometimes. I know. It's so true. Honey, I have to say, those are looking mighty fine. Okay, why are you being super, queet, super sweet today? Super queen. <laughs> so I was going to say queen and cute. Or queen. Okay, queen is a new word. Did you get into barbecue pops as bourbon when I wasn't looking? <laughs> no, but I want to. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know what's happening here, guys. Sweet it's also and Friday. Cute, sweet and cute is now queen. <laughs> I think that goes. You're queen, honey. You're queen. You're super queen. The barbecue family is queen. We've got Uncle Willie in the house. Okay, I do actually have to wash up to cut more enoki and okay. to cut more green onion. I thought I saved a hand wash, but I got to go over there. Uncle Willie is tuning. He's saying hello to Canada. I just said that. Sorry, I didn't. I, I missed it. Hello, I said Uncle hello. <laughs> okay, I got Oh, salt, pepper, and fire is now on there. They're confirming queen it is. Queen with is a, a thing. Q. With a Q. Queet is a thing. Okay, so my sauce is done, guys. I've had the easy job today, and I think Maddie is going easy on me because she knows I'm not feeling the greatest still. I don't have to use my hands that much. So I, my part is over. Now I get to just chill, sit back, and enjoy. I'm going to pour my sauce into this cute little dish here. I thought you were going to say I'm going to pour myself a glass of something. <laughs> no, not yet. What time is it? No one's pouring anything yet. So I got this cute little bowl here. Everybody knows half of making something that requires a dipping sauce is the bowl you choose to put it in. Agreed. So we've got this cute little bowl. We're going to pour it in. And... Look at that. That is going to be so good. How, look at how beautiful that is, honey. Look at the... Looking real good. Look Looking at good. Smelling good. I wish you guys could smell this. Oh, my goodness. And... Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to put on top of mine is... And this is my favorite part about a dip. I think this makes oh, all yeah. the difference. So we've got sesame oil in the dip, and that's what's going to give us that toasted sesame flavor. But you do not want to forget about the top. So this isn't going to provide as much flavor as it is just a garnish, but we've got some black, toasted black and white sesame seeds. Toasted okay? being the key word. That yeah. actually makes like a delicious difference. So look at those. And they just sit on the top. Look at that. <laughs> okay, PTK, the Pop-Tart King, is actually saying I poured a glass of tea with my Pop-Tarts. What, what an interesting combination that would be. I like a tea and a Pop-Tart combination. Oh, I thought that would be good. That sounds delicious. Okay, now I just realized you forgot to barbecue rub. Okay, that's okay. I'll do it on this on these ones. What is happening here? Hi, Mary. Happy uh, Friday. Hi, Mary. I'm just in love with the, being back with the barbecue family. I'm already forgetting things, but that's okay. Um, okay, so honey, let's. You guys, Evil Llama is saying no sabotage today. The world is coming to an end. Evil Llama, we can't let you down. Okay, so we're not, it's not technically sabotage, uh -oh. but we're also, what's we're about gonna, to happen? No, we're gonna share little known fact about each other. I don't know what Kiki's gonna share. She doesn't know what I'm gonna share. Oh, I forgot we were sharing this. Honey, kick us off because even All though right. it's not sabotage, for some reason, we like, like to retaliate against each other sometimes with these. So, honey, kick us off. Ooh, okay. Blueberry Pop Tarts with peach tea. Ooh, what a good Ooh. combo. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so starving now. <laughs> awesome, Anthony knows where it's at. He does. Okay, you wanna play like that, honey? You wanna play like that? No, I don't, see, no, I don't know why this is like, <laughs> it's like a retaliation thing. Okay, here we go. Little known fact about my little friend, Murdy, as I like to call her sometimes, okay. Maddie Murdy. That's a fact in itself, you guys. <laughs> call Maddie Murdy, because that's what I call her. Okay, let, that's hopefully not gonna stick, but <laughs> maybe it might. Okay, so little known fact about my sister. One time, let's, okay. let's play nice, remember? Let's play nice. And I, I don't think you guys would ever believe this story, but I'm Maddie scared. once <laughs> went to All You Can Eat Shrimp at Red Lobster and ate like 11 rounds of shrimp. You, it was like a ridiculous amount of <laughs> shrimp and got sick afterwards. That's my little known fact about Maddie. Okay, that is, 
True story. I can confirm that that is true. I don't know if shrimp should be an all-you-can-eat thing. I don't know if it was if it was 11 rounds, but I do know <laughs> it was in the hundreds of shrimp that I did consume. We were in, it was when I was in my graduate program, and we were in a shrimp eating competition for some reason, and I came in, I think, top three. I can put it away. That's a ridiculous How I'm not embarrassed of this story. You know what? I'm proud of it. <laughs> Barbecue pit dog is saying good for Maddie. That's a lot of shrimp. I, yeah, but shrimp, because shrimp are bottom dwellers, and they eat a lot of gross things. I don't know if anybody should be eating that and have them. You just need to not think about that when you're enjoying them. We have Beck Suden in. She's saying, happy Friday, barbecue babes. Happy Friday, Beck. Thank you for joining us. Can I Hope just, you're I, staying warm. Hello. Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm on the bottom cam. I don't know why that thing is so cool. Okay, I can smell those already, and those are smelling in... Incredible. Honey, want to lift the, let's just take a little peek, see? Okay. Oh, we have cooking with Steven and Jacqueline. Hey, guys. All right, let's check this out. Oh, oh they're done. They're done. Okay, honey, get them out take and them let's out? get okay. more in. Guys, I, that's why I could smell How them. How long were those in for? This thing is like, this thing cooks super quick. Oh, my good. Look at how beautiful these are. Okay, once I take them out, I will show you guys. Hang on. Look at oh, these. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my. Okay, wait, look. I want to show. Look at that, guys. Crunchy mushrooms. Crunchy bison. I think I'm smelling the green onion right off the top. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then now let me <laughs> let me um wash my hands so I can pass you the rub because I forgot to put the rub on there. Those need a little bit more seasoning. Oh yes. We'll get them while it's nice and hot. Okay, I'm gonna shut the lid to keep that heat in. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just put these in. You want me to get those in? I'll put those. I'm in. having to do a lot more work than I anticipated. Hi, V. <laughs> let's let's lose the attitude, okay? <laughs> I'll give you guys attitude about Maddie over here. No one can know. <laughs> Truckers Barbecue, what's going on? David is saying, Kiki, if you're talking to Instagram, who is Murdy talking to? Uh-oh, Murdy's catching on. Who is saying Murdy? David. 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 Maddie's looking forward to YouTube because we should be multi-stream at the same time. We've got YouTube. Facebook, Twitch, and LinkedIn all up here. Honey, can you wet the lid down? My yes, hands are I, gross. Yes, I will. Because we're trying to look all over because there's like camera central over here. Yes. It's my semi charred life. Kathy is saying, yum. Yum. That's yep. what she just said. That is, I, I'm assuming Kathy's saying it exactly like how Key just said. Is that right, Kathy? Did you put a little extra <laughs> juice on that? <laughs> Cue the barbecue. What's going on? So guys, let us know what you're grateful for. Let us know a little known fact about yourself. I'd like to know. It's I'd like to call this Get to Know You Friday. Yeah, well, we, we're calling it Barbecue Family Friday because we never, you guys know, we never really had a name for our lives. But we were like, you know what? This is a place where bar the barbecue family can all come and hang out and have a blast together. So it's called Barbecue Family Friday. What did you just call it, honey? Get to know each other. Get to know you Friday. It's going to have a million names. It's yeah. going to have a million names because we're all getting to know each other to me is like, that's like the best part. That's why I always constantly have to be like, okay, remember to cook because <laughs> I just want to stand here and talk. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, Miss Murdy, what are you telling? What is Uncle your little Uncle Willie saying Kiki looks amazing. Aww. Uncle Willie, you are super sweet. And I think that Thanks, I can, Uncle Willie. I agree with that Uncle Willie and nobody would ever look at Kiki right now and say she looks sick. Oh my goodness. She doesn't. She shopping. looks beautiful. Okay, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Oh goodness. Let's not bring on the tears. No, we don't need to. <laughs> that doesn't need to happen on a Friday. <laughs> not one bit, but thank Friday's you very much. Friday's not I built for tears. It's built for good vibes, laughs, fun times. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so honey, please, what is your little known fact? Give it to me now. I don't like this anticipation. I you need to want know. it? What, give it to me. Okay, sorry. Tiger McCool Barbecue, awesome Anthony saying, note to self, if MK come visit, lock the fridge, hide the booze, and bait, oh, and cut the lawn for Kiki's appetizer. <laughs> Is little that a vegan joke? A vegan hit for Kiki. That is so rude. But, but I know, love it. It's funny. That is, I feel like that's a good point because we just we just um said that we will raid anyone's no one's pantry safe from us. No. If I will come, help myself. If Rootin we and come right in there. Your can you st stop saying <laughs> rootin' and tootin'? <laughs> We want to come raid everybody's pantry. Eva Mama is saying Maddie looks good also. See, even our audience knows when you say a compliment to one, you got to balance it out. See, Uncle Willie's saying Maddie too. I know. I don't. You guys are super key. You guys know how to how to do it with sisters. Kiki's right. If you say something nice to one, you got to do it for the other. You guys are the sweetest. 
Also, um, Tiger McCool, how is your little fuzzy man doing this morning? He's got the cutest, fuzziest little man. He, that is one of the, f I'm not just saying this because we love dogs and we love animals. That is honestly one of the cutest dogs I've ever seen. Nobody, if we, that's another thing. If we see anybody in real life and your pet's there, they're not safe from us either. We'll try and take it home. What kind of dog is he again? Like a Shiba Inu? Is that, is that what they're called? Yes. He is adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I will share my, um... I will share my um, little known fact about Kiki. Oh. I have two that I can share. Uh-oh. But we're just going with one. I'll save my other one for next week. Okay. Oh, Barbecue Jones was saying he's an avid golfer. Ooh. Cool little known fact about Barbecue Jones. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Good to know. Barbecue Jones, I like golf. I wouldn't say I'm an avid golfer because I'm horrible. She might tries. Need to hook, get, she might, tries. Might need to come at you for some, some advice. I need Please lots. Please do. I need lots. Excuse me, I'd like to see you. Golf is extremely difficult. I didn't say I knew how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kakoa is saying hi, Kiki. Oh, oh, I want to squeeze that little guy's head. Okay, so speaking of squeezing little guys' heads, uh oh. Um, I'm gonna share my little my little known fact about Kiki. So guys, we are just talking about pets and how we love pets and how Kiki loves Kiki loves animals so much. What is this? Kiki's actually own guinea pigs. She's own fish. Oh. She's own hamsters, cats, dogs. Yep. She's also owned. Actually, I forget what they're called. Those crabs. Hermit crabs. crabs. She's also owned hermit crabs. That's if anyone true story. knows what that thing is, it looks ter They look terrifying. <laughs> it just looks like a crab you'd see on a beach. Yeah, that you wouldn't want to snuggle with as a pet. Okay. Okay. So Kiki's owned them, oh. and she was one day for some reason wanting to snuggle the little thing. So she took it out of its little, what is that, a terrarium or something? Something like that. She took him out and was trying to nuzzle the little guy, snuggle him, and he attacked her <laughs> and clawed onto her hand and That's literally looked like it was gonna like cut her hand open. Yep. All of a sudden, sweet little Kiki started screaming. I ran from my room into her room and she was saying, Get it off of me! Get it off of me! Kill it! Kill I him. turned on him. I did not kill him, though. <laughs> but I did read ahead of time, if they latch on, you have to just run them under warm water and they release because they get scared. So that is exactly what she did. So Barbecue Mama saying Kiki's Mother Nature, but she wasn't in that moment. And also, yes, Evil Llama, I love this. He's saying Kiki has crabs. Let's get that circulating. Kiki had crabs, okay? And neither, we don't want to circulate that either. Imagine if someone's just tuning in and they just <laughs> hear you say that. <laughs> oh, goodness. S. Will remembers. He's saying just like the turtle, she helps cross the road. S. S. Will. Uh, How did you remember that? Oh that crusty goodness. old thing. I know. She was sweet to it and then he lashed out at her. Do you guys are, I told that story a long time ago. I tried to help this big old turtle cross the road and he was like, Mow. He, he wasn't having me. any of it. No. So Tiger McCool saying my sister used to take her goldfish out and pet him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so honey, you're not alone in that. A lot of kids try to a pet. A lot of people try and snuggle things that don't want to be snuggled. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these guys. Okay, and also the comment from Brian went up, but I remember what he said. His little known fact is women want him, men want to be him. <laughs> oh my goodness, Brian. <laughs> Leave it to Brian, sharing the good stuff on a Friday. Oh my goodness, okay, can you please pass me the rub? You keep forgetting to add rub. Look, I'm like all juicy with this marinade right here. As Will saying, it's on my story's highlights. He know he remembers. And <laughs> salt and pepper fire saying, hashtag flirty murdy is trending. <laughs> yes. Guys. Flirty murdy. Flirty murdy is so a thing now. I love that people are taking on murdy. <laughs> That, that is like, okay, guys, we really are family then. Yeah. We really, really are I didn't, family. I can't even tell you where Murdy started. I don't know, but it it, kept, it, it really caught on. And there's Kathy, variations. It goes Murtney, Murdy, I don't, Murdu. Kathy's I, I, saying my fun fact is I've never flown on a play or on a plane. I know that's odd, but me and my daughter are flying to Memphis in May. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Heaven. Kathy, okay, that is such a good, interesting known fact. It's not odd, Kathy. A lot of people actually, is it because you have a fear of flying 
Because I feel Good like question. that's what holds a lot of people back. I'm not gonna lie. I don't. I don't love to fly. I love to fly. I, <laughs> wow. I do. I don't Kiki know. loves it. Everybody. I find it scary, but I think that's one of the things that I love about it. Whenever I, and it's not that I've fl flown a it million times. It is exhilarating if you find it scary. I've literally only been in a no, evil llama. No. He's like hashtag Kiki has crabs. Uh, yes. Evil llama. Get that trending. No. Very bad. <laughs> I I like very that one bad way better. Man. No. <laughs> But I've only been in a plane, I think, two times in my entire life. I, I'm not a big flyer. We're very, we're homebodies, we I would say. We are homebodies. We don't go a lot of places. No, but I love it. I love that feeling when you're taking off. And there's all that, like, shaking. And it's all, you're like, okay, it's Okay, but don't scare Kathy. Don't scare, Kathy's leaving in May. No, but it feels, it's so exhilarating to me when you're taking off. And then all of a sudden, it's just, you go through the clouds. And you just feel weightless. And you're like, what is happening? Your ears start popping. Oh, I love it's, that feeling. Okay, but wait, wait to kick off your um your flying experience, Kathy, with Memphis in May. That's that awesome. That is barbecue heaven. We gonna we have never gotten there yet because no. we wanted to go, but the pandemic over the years has stopped us from going. But I would love to to think about doing that. Maybe I know. maybe this May. Who knows what the future is gonna happen with this with this darn pandemic? I know. I you know what I heard in our area in particular. I heard starting next week. Things are opening back up to 50% capacity. That things that were closed. So restaurants, movie theaters. Guys, in our area, <coughs> that seems very hard to believe because we're going through another <coughs> tough time with COVID. But if that's the case, that's awesome. Brian's saying he's traveled so much for his career, he's over it now. See, I feel like, and that's sometimes, I, Brian, I, I could totally see that. I think a lot of people, when they have to try or, um, travel for business and not pleasure, it does turn you off of it a little bit. Hi, Sandra. Nice to see you. Hi, Lee. Is Lee oh no, I thought that was Lee. That's You're just making Lee. people. No, up sorry. There. I thought <laughs> it was. I, I thought it was Lee. I'm just saying hi to everybody in the barbecue family. Little known fact about Noble Premium Bison. During no dung beetles love bison poop. Cool. Very interesting. And, and grassland loves dung beetles. Win win. That is so cool. You know what? I love to hear about certain permaculture type things like that that work harmoniously in nature. I find that stuff so very interesting. Guys, good share. Very good share. That is a very interesting little known fact. I, that's why we love doing little known facts because we're you never all know what's learning come something up, new about everybody about the the old dung beetles. <laughs> Kathy is saying, boo, I can't wait to meet Erica Blair. Is she going to that too? I think, she, I'm pretty sure. I, I think that I saw somewhere that she is. And that's like, that's half the fun, I think, about those barbecue events is meeting up with the barbecue family. I know. It's so true. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way so I can get your other ones, or you can get your other ones on, honey. Do you want to get your oh, other ones those, in? Is that empty? Yeah. Okay, let's get them in and then I'm going to wash up. Okay. And then give me the barbecue rub, and I will do all the work because clearly Maddie keeps forgetting about that. Oh, because you're doing all the work. I'm seated, and I'm quite comfortable <laughs> now. <laughs> so nice to see you guys. I can't ex even explain how much this is bringing me joy on this Friday morning, guys. Mid-morning. Yeah. Oh, Kathy's saying she's competing. Ka go, Kathy, go! No, she, no, she's not. She's saying Erica is. Oh, okay, well, I'm. That's still that's still super, super cool. Kathy, you could. You definitely could be Kathy competing. could, and we'll definitely be cheering on um, our barbecue sister, Erica, too. Honey, can you close that? Yes, I can. And everyone else that's competing at the at the event, because you guys know barbecue competitions, they're sometimes not the most cutthroat, cutthroat competition because it's barbecue people. I know. Everyone is so sweet to one another. Everyone's very helpful to one another. So competing is more, it's just like the fun of it. Exactly. Okay, I got to wash up. Okay. Uncle Willie's saying mushrooms. He's spotting the enoki mushrooms. Yes, Uncle Willie, you came to a fantastic episode. We've made some enoki bison rolls and a special dipping sauce. So if you didn't catch the whole episode, we have, I forget who just said, and it's gone up now, but they said that they have to leave because they have to go to work. But don't you worry your pretty little head because this full recipe is going to be on our website. Thank you, Barbecue Pops. That was Scott Geiger Sr. He said he's at work. He's going to catch the replay. Good job, Scott. Have a great day, rest of the day at work. Thank you for joining us at work. Prince Frank said, oh, <laughs> we're bringing them joy. Prince Frank. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, so did everybody also get that rub from Christmas? I wanted to make sure that they arrived safely to everybody who won, who got a rub. Because, yes, we never know until we see, until people message us. No, and there's only tracking on the Canadian ones. Did you know that? 
Yes, I did. The American ones are like out in space once they get sent. <laughs> Brian's saying that's how triathlons are. People are really encouraging to each other because you're really just competing against yourself. Brian, that's actually very, very cool. And I didn't, as probably not surprising to anyone, we've never competed in a triathlon before. Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> I would love to compete in a triathlon. You always say you're not a runner. I, you Is know what? triathlon, that's like part of it is the running. That's fine, but when it's, it's so weird that when you can't do something, it makes you realize how much you really want to be able to do something. Totally. So. But Brian, I totally see your point. And because a lot of those things, Yes, they're, they're like created as like competitions, but at the end of the day, in life in general, you're only competing against yourself. It's not about like really what, what goes on. We were competing in um, a barbecue competition one time. We came in fourth and lost our minds. We were so upset, we were so heartbroken, and now I'm embarrassed to look back on Me that too. and be, why were we so upset? It's like, let it go. Yeah, I, who cares? Like at the end of the day, did we have fun? Yes. Did we meet barbecue family members that yep. we still know to this day? Yes. Yes. Did we learn a lot from that? Oh, yes. Yeah. So how is that a lose? How is that a lose, really? And we were the only women's comp the, the women's. <laughs> we were the only women's guys. We were the only women competing. So to us, that was like that was a win in itself. But you're right, honey. That was a very immature attitude at the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. This I just gotta get this going again. <laughs> okay. So take a, take a look at these. Honey, I would like you to try one because I'm very interested to hear what your feedback is. And for the love of God, would you please hand me the barbecue rub? <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you. Okay, so who are we using today? Saucy Luke's Texas Hold'em. That's what we've got for the rub that we're gonna be putting on top of these. But because these have been marinated already, the rub is optional. You can use Ooh. whatever rub you have. I just got a really um, strong aroma of the five spice, the Chinese five spice. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this rub has in it some, it's a spicier one, it's a sweet and spicy. I thought that this would go good with this one. Um, Love any, anything from Saucy Luke's. Okay, so we're gonna just put a little bit on top of these. Tiger McCool saying, you guys can be grand marshals at my competition next year, 2023 Smoked at Backyard Barbecue Competition. Ooh. Anthony, is that for real? Cause I would, love, I would love to go to that. You know what, Uncle Steve is having a competition, is he not? I think so. I think that one is in, um, actually I don't think it's a competition. But is it just like a cook-off? It could be a cook-off. I wanna go, I'm jealous. Kathy's saying I'm so much better cooking on my own. I'm a little ADHD, I think. Yeah, Kathy, for some reason in competitions, it's like, it is definitely not like cooking on your own. Oh no. Totally not. No, that's a, that's a lot of pressure, for and sure. And like, for some reason, if you forget one thing, like I forget at one competition, we actually, believe it or not, I'm not embarrassed to admit this, we forgot a lighter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we were charcoal grilling and we forgot a lighter, okay? So things like that, when you're packing like tons and tons of supplies, it happens. So like, it's definitely not like cooking at home. Okay, pause for one second. We got a fun fact coming in. Let's hear Salt it. Salt Pepper Fire said, fun fact. I took a wrong turn in the White House on a field trip <laughs> and got apprehended by a Secret Service agent. Oh my goodness. Okay, if it's a if it's an honest wrong turn. That would, takes the cake for yes, fun fact that today. one is such a good fun that fact. Wins. Salt, pepper, and fire. That's interesting. And I'm sure a little scary. <laughs> yeah, but what a life story that is. Now we're talking about it today. I would love to dive deeper into that one and see what happens. <laughs> Hi, Cornish Carnivore. Thank you for joining us. You're actually at the tail end of what we just made, which are these beautiful, oh, yeah. look at those, enoki bison rolls. We're going to have the full recipe available up on our website for you to recreate. And I also made, so the spotlight's not just on Maddie. She made those, but I also made this delicious dip in case anybody's she interested. Sure did. Kathy's saying, oh my, I'll just go enjoy watching. You know what? Sometimes that's like, that's the fun <coughs> part. Absolutely. That is the fun part. I have to say, I, I'm not going to go out and say this like all together, but my days of doing those high intense, like a lot of pressure situations, like food, TV shows, competitions, I don't know if I'm into those anymore. Those are, they are very aggressive and um, yeah, but I feel like you got to try them. You you would definitely have to experience that. And honey, we're in. I guarantee you, we'll do them again. I'm just. Those are really. Those take years off your life. Really, to be honest. Duke <laughs> says yes. Please send me a platter. Okay. Aww. So on that note, Duke might like this next little feature that we have coming up. Oh yes. Okay. So Duke needs to be featured in Pet Paws, I think, because guys, I think it is time 
for pet pawns to happen. Let's take a pause for the pets. Anybody on Insta, if you want to head over to YouTube, I think a lot of people actually joined us over on YouTube today. Yes. But if you want to head over to YouTube so that you can experience what we call pet pause, it's an all pet um, segment and it just makes everybody super happy. Here we go. Who's on today? Oh, look at Lupe and Ricky already. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Big Earn. Big Danny Earn. and Elvira. Elvira is funny. She used to be like a warehouse cat that someone ended up taking home. There's Kakola. Okay, look at Aww. all these faces. Come on. Sam, and last but not least, my baby Nino, <laughs> who is getting up there in age. So we don't know how much longer Nino has on this earth, but but nice guys, to any show of the pets, there. we don't know how long anybody has their pets, but we just gotta treasure them when we have them. Right, it's so nice to see all the, oh, the pet paws. I don't know what makes me happiest in this. Segment. I don't. I know. I really don't either. Pet paws is definitely up there. Yeah. So send us pictures of your pets for next week, guys, because I would love to see them. Whether it's a hermit crab <laughs> or whether it's a cat or a dog. I wish I had my phone at that time. This is before phones really existed because I would have loved to film a video on that. That was literally hilarious. I don't know if I have any pictures of the hermit crabs. Okay, before we go, can you please try one? Okay, I'm I would like to see in. your reaction. Put try my sauce. Okay, let's let's hold this up so Insta can see. We have you so YouTube can see. We're still rocking and rolling. We're not done yet. We have a lot more still to go. Look at okay. how good those look. I'm going in. That looks like a really good one. Guys, do I all this? Yeah, you have to, but don't forget the say, sauce. Do I when I say all, I mean put the put it all in my mouth. I'm going. I, I'm I going. think yep. Yeah, I think you have to. Because sometimes those mushrooms are hard to get through. Mmm. How good is that? Crunchy mushrooms. Are they? They look mm -hmm. nice and crispy. How's that marinade working out for you? Firing on all cylinders. <laughs> I would not change one thing about this. Absolutely nailed it. The dip, the dip is perfection. The bison is tender. It's flavorful. And the enoki mushrooms got crunchy along the edges. Ooh. Can you like, oh, wrong camera, wrong camera. And the onion, that little bit of onion. Oh, yes. Look at how, look at how crunchy, you know that's good. I'm going in for another oh one. Oh my guys. goodness, those smell incredible. I don't know what it is about cooked, cooking mushrooms and red meat together. That combination, mm. perfection. You need floss after I eat. can hear those mushrooms. Enoki mushrooms do that. You got to watch out with those things. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. You guys got to try these. Yes, so don't forget we're going to have the recipe available on our website. We, Eva Llama, with that's what she said. Where's S. Will when we need him? <laughs> Where's S. Will? Bobby's saying she's hungry now. Guys, we always, always say this. Oh, and I'm sorry if everybody could hear that with the, with the microphone up here. Ew. I know I was probably really getting in there. <laughs> sorry, everybody. But we always say we love these Barbecue Family Fridays, but we can't share with you guys. <sighs> I know. Which absolutely, like, is heartbreaking. I, I saw that Esmo. I'm not going to see it. <laughs> I'm not going to see it. We got a that's what she said from Flirty Murray. From Flirty Murray. <laughs> yes, I love it. But, guys, we want you guys to go to go home, or if you're at home, make them yourself, because these are these would be amazing as an appetizer. I could eat this entire plate by, plate by myself. Yeah, those are poppable. They're definitely poppable, but we want to thank you guys so much for joining us today. We're back. We'll be yes. back every Friday. The girls are back in town. The girls are back in town. Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> that did, went a little off the rails. Did Kiki get in the bourbon? What the heck is happening here? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so from Kiki and Flirty Murdy, we're going to leave that there. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, you guys. Bye, guys.